Hey guys, what's up? It's OK Die TV here today and different setting, different type of video. Today I'm coming at you guys with something a little different. It's kind of similar to my TikTok comment, uh, TikTok content, to the depression series pretty much. Haven't been posting too much because honestly I haven't really been as depressed, I should say. I haven't think about the word out properly. But this is going to be unedited, no thumbnail, no intro, no outro, no description, no tags, nothing. This is a personal video. This is a video for the people who watch my content, enjoy my content, leave feedback on it. This is for my peoples, for my followers, my subscribers, my supporters. I want to do some work for you guys and just give you an episode, just then just a walkthrough, a playthrough, then a let's play, then a review. I want to give you guys a more look. Because I know there's a lot of people who watch the streams and stuff and sit there like, Jared, why is so silent? What's going on? You okay? And now they'll notice you're only posting work when you do personal posts. It's pictures of you, surroundings. I don't get too much into my personal life. Like, you know, I open up about thoughts and stuff like that. And it's not really like in depth, it's like pieces. And I feel like I'm gonna sit down and just cover that today. And I'm gonna cover some future content, cover lots of different things in this video. Probably be like a 15 minute video at most. But you know, just chill back, get stoned, and listen or watch. And not really anything to watch but my ugly face. But Nick, cheers first, because I need my fix. My channel will always have lots of smoking. I'm a smoker. Nothing I can do about it. So if you don't like that, then you should just click off right now. Because we're about to do cheers. Cheers, everybody. It's bowl green. Get the yeah, full view. I got to clean it again. I feel like every time... I was cleaning this every day when I first bought it. But <laughs> every time I clean it, it gets cleaner. But then when I let it sit for more than like a week, then it gets back to like looking like this. And I'm like, damn. We got some chill loft music in the background. I like to use this for, this is probably what we use it for streaming when we get the new computer. It's free, non-copyrighted, and I'll actually shout the video name, Lo Loft Hip Hop Chill Hop Music Mix. Jimmy Chill Loft FI Hip Hop Beats Free 2021. So we're going in 2022, full speed, full push, full work motive. And I'll be honest, Last year, I was sleeping on content. I was living with my ex, and it was a, a, a total four-year relationship. I'm gonna be honest with you, only two, three years were great. The last, like, year and a half, maybe, was just shit. It was horrible. A few months here and there were good. And it was only when we broke up, we got back together. I don't want to talk to her too much, but to be honest, what was going on between us, and for the people that were there and followed and joined the family around then, they would know. She wouldn't let me stream. She just always on my ass, not letting me get content out really. And when I did make content, I was too quick about it to worry about qu quantity over quality. And I'll be honest, I didn't start worrying about quality. I started seeing videos with full thumbnails and full descriptions and editing. Like I was learning YouTube and the algorithm still when I was getting into making the videos. Like I was making them for way over a year, but I wasn't making them right. And I felt like it was right. And I was just starting. So, you know, crater mistakes. But my old content's trash. I, I don't, I recommend watching anything from at least six months ago and up when it comes to the YouTube content. I feel like that's like the best stuff that you can watch for comedy or even interest. I will tell you right now, not all my content's interesting. A lot of it's playthrough videos. I've seen, I love playing video games and so doing playthroughs, let's plays, reviews will be the main shit I would do on my channel besides story times. Story times, weekly discussions are my talking part of my channel. They're a part of my channel where it's more about life and more about the topics and stuff going on than gaming. Because this is a multi-channel, it's a hobbies channel too, it's a personal channel. This is a channel for people to come, chill, escape, relax, and have a place to go to to be safe. And it's a place full of free of bullying and toxicity. But if you consider being a lonely stoner and yelling at a game and fucking around, joking around with dark humor or toxic, then <laughs> you're just fucking toxic idiot. <laughs> And I'll also say there will be no filtering on this channel. I will say as I please. So basically, as in the first minute, five minutes of this video, hi, I'm It's Okay Die, aka Jarrett. And this is your lonely stoner saying basically, this is a non filtered content channel with lots of smoking and cursing and fucked up jokes. So if you're not about that, then you should probably just click off and never check by again because I'm not going to stop because you report me or you want to cancel me. And there's plenty of had. My, my Twitter account was suspended the other day because I fucking spoke out and what I wanted. And I'm going to continue doing it. Twitter can keep banning me. I'll just make a new fucking account, new email. Don't worry, fucking matter to me. Nothing really does. I'll just keep going. 
nothing's gonna stop me. That's what I'm gonna say. And I'll be honest, 2022, full, full motives, as I said, full motives. But first, I want to get into why I've been quiet lately and at points on stream and why I get into my things. I, I've been in a low point in my life before, when I got into my grind. And I've been in a low point all my life, really. And it's really hard not to be sad sometimes. Like, I said, I think of the word that properly. Like, a lot of fake people, friends, family, just a lot of shit. And be honest with you, I don't feel like getting too much depth into it because most story times will cover most of the information anyway. But I still got some shit fucking with me inside my head. And I'm just working through it right now. And I'm just trying my best. And that's all we can do as humans. And thank you for everyone that's understanding and supportive about it. I thank you guys very much. Thank you guys for the feedback. It's amazing. It's helping me keep going. Knowing that you guys are watching, enjoying what I make is just it's just amazing. It's an amazing feeling. Even if it's only a few of you, you know? Like, it's just the fact that people that I sit there and work on this shit and people are actually clicking on it and liking it. Even if it's only two or three, it's still, still progress to me. And yeah, numbers look low and stuff, but most streamers don't blow up until that 10 year mark. So I'm hoping it'll take that long, but I'm gonna work towards it even do or take longer. I'm gonna keep going until I die, even if I don't make it. And I'm saying for future content plans to get that out of the way real quick, there's gonna be a lot of new games. Every new game that comes out, I'm interested in, I'll be playing a lot of Game Pass stuff, mainly Xbox games. I don't think I'll get a PS5 anytime soon. And if I did, it'll be because I have a lot of money to waste. <laughs> like, I need to get a new laptop, a new uh, Series X instead of Series S anyway, so. But pretty much we'll be playing a lot of new games, a lot of Siege, a lot of Borderlands content will be on this channel. It's a multi-game channel, but Borderlands, will, Borderlands, Minecraft will pretty much be like the two main games. And the main genres are racing, FPSs, third-person shooters, and RPGs, and role-playing games. Those are the main games that towards gravitate towards. I don't really like puzzles, I don't like platformers that much, unless it's Mario. But, like, yeah, I pl I'll be playing some, like, uh, Spyro and stuff. Like, I love classic video games. This will be a channel where you'll see a lot of old games and a lot of new games. You'll see a mix of both. As I've been gaming for over a decade, I, I have a big selection of games in my head that I could choose to play through. I haven't beaten or fully beaten in a ready to go on a harder run or even just to do it again. And, to be honest, I'm a very experienced gamer, so I feel like I have a lot of knowledge and skill. And I may not be the best in the multiplayer field, I might die a lot, but <laughs> I feel like I still hold up most of the better players. I mean, some of these players barely hold up and they make content, so I see them dying every two seconds, like, oh god. I try not to die that much because it creates a lot of editing for me. So it, it kind of helps knowing that if I die, I'm going to have to edit that out. So it's kind of like, yep, I'm going to make sure I don't die and don't look like a pussy. But, yeah. I feel like my content's going in a good direction. I like how I'm making it. It's making me happy how I'm producing it. And to be honest, if anyone wants to leave feedback or tell me what I'm doing wrong, let me know. I am always willing to take opinions and feedback because opinions like assholes, everyone has one. So I will read every comment, love every comment, like every comment, regardless of what it is. I'll be honest, I'll let you guys know when it gets too hard for me to read the comments and stuff. When it gets to, like too much, like when I can't respond to everyone. But I'm going to try my best as it's going on to keep connecting and keep responding with you guys as much as I possibly can. I want to be as connected with the community as possible because you guys are like a family to me. This is the family we're building. It's okay to die family. Just a bunch of uh, people chilling, vibing, toting. Even if you're not a stoner, I don't care if you watch my channel. If you're not a stoner, just come watch, come chill, enjoy the vibes. I know a lot of people who don't smoke who watch my channel and enjoy the content very much. As I said, I'm just a lonely stoner. But... To be honest, the personal issues, I'm getting past them, I'm getting to a better part of my life. My mental health is becoming astonishingly better. It's just the few odds and ends that I'm struggling and trying to conquer in my life. The few thoughts that are still going up in my head that I'm still trying to cancel out and progress through. And to be honest with you guys, it's going to take a little bit longer. And I might be silent during some streams. And, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm trying. I'm trying. It's not like I can just step away and just handle this shit while I've been dealing with for years. And I was going away. Yeah, it's going to take a couple more years. And I'll be honest, a lot of girls just keep fucking me over. They just want to fuck me. They just want money. Just how they are. And <laughs> I don't give a fuck if they watch this video and get mad at me, but... The only but don't have time these girls text me is when they want to come over, not when they not not to hang out anytime. But you know, mo most of them, it's whatever. I don't care at this point. 
girls are gonna be girls so i'm just gonna go do what i gotta do and work and i'll be honest i'm putting all this pain and emotion into my work and i hope you guys are enjoying it and to get more into it this is gonna be a channel that is surrounded by gaming smoking and just overall rebelliousness so if you don't like like content that stands out like that yeah this is also like, a warning video I, i'm basically making like my intro video right now to my channel but besides the fact of that working is not really an issue my it's just sometimes i don't get off in time that's why i don't do my nightly streams anymore i only do them on the weekends or when i'm free free but I, I miss nightly streaming. I love the night vibes. Night is just a, such a fun time to stream. You got the LEDs. It's nice and dark in the room. It's chill. So I'm trying to have as many chill night vibes streams as I can. They'll mainly be on the weekends. And I know you guys like them because of the vibes in the room with the stoner. <laughs> And another thing about my content, yes, I'll unbox action figures and stuff to build Lego sets and other stuff. And you, I don't give a fuck if you like it. I like what I like. It's my hobby. I like toys. I like collectibles. I'm a geek. I love comic books. So if you're not into that shit, this is not the place for you. And also, I'm not just going to play a game because you guys like it. If I don't enjoy the game, I will be putting up a cancellation video to the series or simply just ending off the series with whatever I have of the content. Basically, just doing a simple review on what I thought about the game and why I won't be continuing it. I'm not just going to shoot down a game either. I would at least put at least 24 hours into a game before I don't touch it ever again. If it's three or four, the game's really bad and I'm fucking bored as hell and I can't get through the rest of those hours. But I try my best to give every single game a chance and a full, honest review. I don't like just to go into shit blind. Like, it's like people coming to my work watching five minutes and nothing else of it and just dipping. And when it comes to a game, if they have previous installments, I haven't played them. I'll play the previous installments, then play the newest one. Or work on them while working on the newest one. Just pick up as I go. But, I'm just being honest. Some games might get cancelled if I have a few videos on it. Unless it's really good feedback and I feel like I can push through it and make good content out of it. But I'm not going to force myself to make content on something I don't enjoy. Because if I don't enjoy it, you guys aren't going to enjoy it because it's not going to come out good. And I also would like recommendations for what you should add in the background for the studio. You guys like the couch setting. You guys like the lights. What else can we add? What else can we put there? We need some stuff else on the couch, some interesting pillows. Like, what's going on? Do we need a new piece? Like, let me know. Let me know what we need. Because I want to make this as comfortable, as much setting it for you guys as I can. I'm wanting it more collectibles in that background, because this is mainly the background. Face cam, face cam, where it usually be right here, where my phone is. And yes, I'm recording this off my phone, regardless of having other equipment, because it's a personal video. I just want to make a nice little small talking and toting video. I'll be honest, my inspirations for my content, Lil Peep, Juice World, X Code A, Smith Plays, The Rad Brad, or those are all the people that have inspired me to get this far. And I mean like the day one inspiration and Guardian, I forgot Guardian. But I'm not talking about like artists that I recently found last year or two. I'm talking about people that have been motivating me for years to do this stuff. So if you see a lot of similarities, that's where my inspiration comes from. Because I'll be honest, nothing's original anymore. Everything comes from an inspiration from something else. There is completely new ideas out there, but most content nowadays is based off of something else. So if you're mad that I'm making my, my video models after theirs, there's hundreds of people out there doing it like me. But I'll be honest, my uniqueness and my flair, that how I'm going to stand out to you guys, is my personality, my comedy, and my overall gameplay. I feel like I offer some unique balance to the table. Like, I feel like if you guys sit there and actually watch for a stream for a couple hours or, a few, or watch a whole series, you will grow to enjoy it. Like, I feel like there is very boring parts, but I know there's very entertaining parts. And I'll say that new video that's coming out fucking tomorrow at 12 p.m. about fucking Mass Effect it's 18 plus for a reason i had a lot of fun editing that video as soon as that scene came up that made it 18 plus i was like yep this is gonna be a banger so i'm really hoping you guys enjoyed episode 5 of the mass effect series i enjoy mass effect just honestly i'm not navigating those types of games i gotta learn it i want to learn rpg elements a lot more I have a lot of friends give me tips guides and stuff to get through it so excuse me if i get lost a lot so it's going to take a little bit to get grip on it and by the next ones we shouldn't have to deal with those problems but yes i'll be doing the full mass effect series including Omidron. And I played a little bit of that one, so I kind of know I get through the first parts. But I'll also be doing a full Dragon play, Dragon Age playthrough. I'll be doing all the Borderlands, at least streaming them on Twitch, YouTube. I'm probably only going to do the newest one and the ones after that, and any DLCs that come out for 3 to cover. I covered other previous DLCs for Borderlands 3. You can check throughout my channel for them. Honestly, I don't know if I actually still have them up, so disregard that if you don't find them. <laughs> but... 
there's a lot of content I've deleted off my channel, so if there's videos you guys enjoy aren't there anymore, they're unlisted, so honestly, DM me, I'll send you a private copy of the video that your email to watch. Like, I still have them, I didn't delete them fully, I just unlisted them, so you guys can't see them without a link. And the reason I did that is because I don't like that work, but if there's someone who likes that work, or if there's multiple people and you guys want to have me release it, then if I get enough feedback from it, I will release it again. Because then that means it wasn't that bad. But I don't feel like there's any videos that I unlisted that are good to go back up on my page. Like, I feel like everything on my page is acceptable and the stuff that's unlisted shouldn't be there and they're unlisted for a reason. If you're playing backgrounds, my kitty, it's Midnight and Twitch Cat. A little crackhead, a little map head. Now, for the dispute on Twitch with It's Okay to Get Faded, it was handled. You guys don't gotta worry about that. It was just some personal things. If he wants to fully get into it one day, he can, but I'm gonna leave that up to him. We've already said enough about it on stream what was going on, so it does nothing more needs to be said about it, really. It's his personal life. We talked about off stream yesterday, so. I'll be honest, the hardest part of this road has been moving on from a four-year relationship. Even after everything she'd done to me, it's just a fact I was with that person for four years. And the reason I'm touching on this, it's not a touchy subject, it's just something that's been bothering me. And to be honest, it's something I just want to move past. So, and I'm working my hardest too. And I am moving past it. I'm over her, it's just I'm not over the thought of her. And that's the problem, like, so used to have her in my life that it came like a drug a little bit. And I don't want that thought in my head, but it's there. It'll go away eventually. But to be honest, from people I've talked to about it, they still think about their sometimes, their exes, because as I said, it's a thought that can't really leave your head. They were in your life. It's never really gonna go. And I'm coming to accept that factor, but I just wanna block it out because it, it brings bad vibes to my head. <laughs> like, fuck that bitch. If you watch the video of her talking to me on my birthday, You'll understand a lot more if you don't already know and if you do watch this video fuck you fuck you non-sexually just fuck you just had to get that out there and also guys what game should i give away for the giveaway i'm planning on doing a giveaway soon so let me know in the comments what i should do for the giveaway game because I haven't fully decided there's a lot of new releases. We had Caesar Extinction. We also had Borderlands coming out. We also got the great news that Call of Duty is now bought in by Xbox along with Overwatch, Diablo, Candy Crush. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. And a few other titles. Overwatch, World of Warcraft. So hopefully all those titles will be fully on Xbox. Like World of Warcraft and shit. Like all Candy Crush maybe on Xbox. That'd be fucking lit. Play Candy Crush on my Xbox. Definitely be doing streams on that. That would be some funny ass shit. Get angry as fuck. But I'm happy as hell Xbox is buying up all the fucking major things. Like, and I was on Twitter and all I saw was, you know, this is unfair. Why don't they take it from us? You deserve it. You took Spider Man, you pricks. Xbox 360 had at least more than six Spider Man games. And then because Sony bought Spider Man, we don't get to play Spider Man anymore. Like, I just thought that was total bullshit. That just because they bought the rights means we couldn't fucking play Spider-Man. And it kind of pisses me off that Xbox allows them to play Minecraft and several other games that Xbox has bought the companies and rights to. And it's all just because, you know, they want to be nice. And it's because, you know, they don't want to look like assholes. But here's my thing. Xbox, if you watch this, make all the games you bought exclusive to our console. Because here's the thing, there are games now. That's our shit. PS5 took Spider-Man, they got God of War, they got Last of Us, they got Uncharted. They got all those exclusives. Why the fuck do they deserve our shit? That is the fan base of Xbox's property now, in my opinion. I feel like Xbox as a whole, as a fan base, as a family, like I feel like Call of Duty, Blizzard, all those studios they bought, every game they bought is ours now. It's not fucking anywhere near PlayStation. It shouldn't be. Because since they bought it, it should be theirs. Like, I understand if they're making a lot of money off of PlayStation. That's a whole different story. But if they're not making any money off of it, then they need to just fucking take their games and make them fully exclusive. Because it's fucking stupid if they don't. Like, it kind of just pisses me off. Like, I know they're probably not going to make them exclusive. But that's the reason that we're never going to get a Spider-Man game probably until like four more gens from now. 
And it just really pissed me off. I want to play Spider-Man, but I'm not buying a PS5 to play fucking Spider-Man. That's me giving in to their bullshit. Like, Spider-Man is a Marvel character. It should be exclusive. That It shouldn't be exclusive. It should be available to everybody. Like, how much more money would you make off a Spider-Man game if it was marketed on Xbox and PlayStation? As Xbox has been nice enough to market Minecraft for both consoles, regardless of buying the rights to it, they could have made a lot of people get off of PlayStation if they wanted to make that game exclusive. I think Xbox just likes their competition. I think it's like knowing that they're overtowering PlayStation. And you know, all the PlayStation fanboys, oh, they're gonna buy stats, Xbox is not winning. No, no, Xbox just won. They bought Call of Duty, dude. That game was going so downhill and it's about to be so great. So great. So great. I hope, I hope, I really hope. I have a lot of faith in the Xbox that Call of Duty is about to take a nice right turn and it's about to bring a lot of us OG players back to the series. But to continue on more of our personal matter, I also am planning to soon start getting my license and shit, so I will be driving soon, we'll be having driving videos and stuff, going on exploring, and with that topic at hand, within next couple years or so, I will be planning to move out of state, and when I do, there will be probably a pretty long personal break for content until I get situated again in my new place. But the reason I want to talk about that now is because I don't want to sit here three years down the road and say, hey, Jared, you never told us you're just going to go into the deflate of content all of a sudden. Where is it? Well, I told you guys, I was going on break once I moved. <laughs> so I, I just like to be pre-prepped, pre-prepared, and that's why I love making my backlog look nice. But to be honest, that's pretty much everything I want to talk about, everything I want to get off my mind. And... I hope you guys enjoy this little personal video, a little look into my life, a little talk about games, content, other things, but I, I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support. I, I really appreciate it. Like, it, it's been a long, long journey, road, and I've been alone a lot. And because of your guys' support, you guys watching me, chilling with me, I felt better with my life, felt better with myself. And it's just, it's just amazing to finally see that all my life, I was nothing. No one gave a fuck. And now, when I log in to my favorite place, Xbox, Twitch, YouTube, I got people who care, who support, who like my content, and who like my personality, like me for me. Not people who don't know who I am and just judge me because how I dress or how I look. I got people who come to my content and who are just like me or same personality traits in some sort of way or just the same vibe and mo motives and it just creates such positive place. Now for all the assholes who come to my chat to try to fuck that up, you're just going to keep getting suspended. I don't give a fuck. I'm just going to keep kicking. We're not having negativity in my chat. There is enough mods to deal with that on phone call. So go ahead. Keep fucking with me. <laughs> That hasn't been a recent occurrence, but happened in like a few weeks ago. There's always someone trying to fuck with me. But I hope you guys also enjoyed the background stuff. And I hope I didn't blab on too much. But this is my personal video. This is my talk with you guys. And I hope y'all are enjoying what you're seeing. We're gonna take some final toe totes here out of a nice little eyeball bowl. Take a little nick rips. Can't wait to put out this Rainbow Six Siege video, guys. It's actually uh, getting loaded up on my computer as we've been speaking. So, cheers. To 2022, we're gonna work this year. No one is stopping me. And for all the people who've been supporting me this long, there's no more waiting. We're on to this. This is our year. It's our fucking year, guys. And I'm happy for everyone to stay with me on this road. I'm all emotional because my life's never been easy. <laughs> I've never had a lot of people there. So it's just amazing watching it come together. Yeah, all these years working on this and staying alone with low faith, low motivation. It's finally just coming together. And it's going to be <laughs> a long ass road until it fully comes together. 
but just seeing that is just gets that spark. Thank you guys. I love you all so much. It's okay to die out. Hope you guys enjoyed.